family physicians are the bedrock of the primary care system. They and their teams are the first and best resort for anyone dealing with chronic conditions or needing an initial diagnosis. Uh, doctors, nurses, paramedics, and other medical professionals want to spend more time with the people that, that, that they are treating and less time on paperwork. But the existing system puts so many burdens on them. So we're going to change this situation for the better as quickly and as efficiently as we can. We are in discussions with the Alberta Medical Association on a new family physician payment model to support comprehensive care and ensure that doctors are seeing more patients. And we need to have, and we expect to have the outlines of that within a few months. Still, family physicians need help now. And that's why Alberta's government will provide $200 million of stabilization funding through the Canada-Alberta Health Funding Agreement to bridge this gap until a new model is in place. This is just one aspect of the work that is underway. Also in the new year, the task force consisting of my ministry and the AMA that have been meeting since November will provide me with some additional short-term stabilization actions until a new comprehensive primary care model for family physicians is developed and implemented. Those short-term stabilizations will address key issues or pressures in the system, such as doctor retention, administrative burden, and inflationary costs. They will be able to be implemented quickly and efficiently, and they will be transitional until a new payment model is ready. Ultimately, we want to better support family physicians and their teams to have a viable practice that improves their quality of life and which also meets all of the care needs of their patients. Fair to say that this has been building probably for five or ten years and so there is a significant investment that's going to be needed uh, for our family physicians and our rural generalists. So this is a first step. The key feedback I've had from my colleagues of family physicians out there that are really truly struggling is they need this money as quick as we can get to them, get it to them in stabilization and then this evolution to the new model uh, is critical. We get that done quickly.